Everything Now show? Do you know Everything Now show? Oh yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. What's up Everything Now show? Everything Now show. Oh, I love Everything Now show. Everything Now show? That's they're boring. so fun. They're really funny. I love Everything Now show. This is fucking dope. They do this all live? God damn, such talent. The show looks absolutely wild. You're gonna have so much fun. It's Everything Now. An interactive comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices. Submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? <laughs> It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. What? What did you just say? What's up, bro? Well, Rocky, what did you just say to me? You said you're gonna come up on me. I said, yeah, you do that every night, bro. I come up on me every night? Oh. I didn't even hear it fully that way. Hey everybody, welcome to, um, no, I've been talking the whole time, don't worry about it. Hey everybody, welcome to, um, Rideshare, it's me, so uh, Socrates Alexandropoulos, so good to see you all. Um, if this is your first time here, basically how this works is I, I drive around, I pick people up, I take them to where they gotta go. Um, sorry, I'm getting a text from Ron Lynch. <coughs> it's okay. Um, there's plenty of things that can happen throughout. You can uh, trigger the radio. You might listen to the radio. Just some cash. Couldn't tell you what that was about. Uh, we might drive off a cliff. We can also eject my passengers at any time. For whatever reason you want, really. It'll look like that. Boom. Someone gets blown up. People might leave me reviews. Let's see what my reviews are like lately. Driver tasted like success. Five stars. Fun car. Liked when the driver made eye contact with me. Ten out of ten. I wouldn't get used to that. Um, th those are the main things. Uh, we might pass some billboards along the way. Look at that, hander pants. We all know hander pants. Um, midway through, I'm gonna have to fill up at the gas station. We'll watch some gas station TV, check in on the commercials, what people are selling. And if we hit the sub goal, I can see we're already zero of the way there. Oh, there's one. There we go. Thank you, Nintendo 65. Thank you very much. I'm not seeing chat over here. I don't know if that's on. Uh, that's a grant. Cool. Skill issue. Skill issue. There it is. There it is. Haven't read a single thing, so sorry everyone if you've been writing statements towards me. Um, that's it. If we hit the sub goal, we'll go to uh, enhance someone's car. Won't be my car, because we can't really pay it off visually. So we'll go take someone else's car, and we will enhance it in some way. I don't want to reveal too much about that. Um, that's, I think, it for explaining what you need to know. Thank you, Katie Bentz. Thank you very much. I'm now going to do the thing where I read everyone's name. Go Go Gadget 360, Sarcasmosis, Sky with Too Many T's, Dry Shod, Mjorn, Metal Gear Ryan, Yarcasm, Idle Spork, Caesar De Salad, Katia, Sarcasmosis, Slayer Man, Destruction Fox, Siloth, Maximus Caesar 13, uh, Grass, uh, they're all going too fast. And the rest. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. They go too fast now. They go way too fast. Ugh. All right. Well, that covers everything. I think let's get our first passenger and get on the road. Thank you very much, Katie Benz. It's very nice. Oh, I heard a... Hi. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Oh, sorry, okay. What's your name? Oh, hey, Dalton. What was that? <clears throat> sorry, Dalton Plumbo. Dalton Plumbo. Hi, Dalton. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's my first time here in uh, now York. New now York. Now York. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome. You can understand my confusion because there's the other York. New York. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, this one's different though. Why is it now though? I don't know. Why is anything called anything? I don't want to get that existential about it, but I was just trying to make for polite conversation. Pardon me. You mind if I just practice for my gig for a little bit? Go for it. This is pretty good. Expectedly really good. 
that was really good. You didn't expect it to be very good? Sorry, usually when people come into this car, they're like, they play like two strings on that and they do like a Beatles song about coming or something. So like, I was just shocked at how good that was. Jeez, Louise, what the hell? That's, that's disgusting. I'm sorry, that's, people do that. This town is freaky. Sorry. This sorry. town is full of freakos and freakies for me. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. This is my hometown. I'm actually proud to be from here. So. Wow. Well, congratulations, I guess. And six years is no is no slump. Thanks. Where are you going, by the way? Where am I taking you? To now York Convention Center. Oh, okay. You doing a concert or something? I'm playing at the uh, Everything Now Show 6th Anniversary uh, Convention and Fan Meetup. Oh, cool! Hey, first time chatter. I want to say hi to hi Jared Fogel. Welcome, <laughs> welcome into the welcome into the show. Uh, hope you're enjoying yourself. Six year anniversary, you were saying? Yeah, six years ago at this stupid show, Ever the Now show, had its first episode. Tonight? Yeah, that's true. Oh my God, I forgot about that. It is May 18th, right? Love yeah, that. yeah. So they hired me. I don't even watch the shit. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, tonight is the six-year anniversary of the this, Everything Now show. I don't get the sense of humor. Really. I thought it was four days ago, and I got it wrong. Nope. It's tonight. Apparently it's tonight. So you got any good, like, inside baseball that I can mention during my, my show banter? Uh, none of the cast really likes each other anymore. Okay. It's kind of a strictly business transaction relationship now. Wow. Um, That's, I don't even know them, and it makes me sad. Yeah, I think Rocky and Alex get along. Are you sure about that? That's probably the closest one to a friendship. I could, but are you I sure identify. about that? No, no. But it's the closest one. All right. Well, I mean, well, there's like inside jokes that I can mention, right? That that'll that'll make the, the crowd go like, ah, get, he he gets the thing that I get. So what'll probably happen is if you try to do those inside jokes, is that like four people in the room will get really really excited about it, and then the other like 300 people in the room will be like, I have no idea what this is about, uh, and it's very alienating for me. Okay. So should I just play my songs then? There or? was a brain in a jar. There was a brain in a jar. His name was Dr. Teacher. He was an animated brain in a jar. He was somehow this this show was like educational. Well, that's funny. It's like a brain in it. His name's Dr. Teacher. That's funny because it's like two jobs at the same time. I guess, yeah. I guess. It's like being named Mike Mark. <laughs> I guess so. Hey, you laughed at a joke of mine. Oh, sure. Well, well, well give me something you might do at the show. Uh... I don't, okay, sure. I'll, I'll give it a try. So, this one, this one is about the hardest time I ever laughed. <laughs> like this is gonna make me like kind of misty. It's at, it's actually my saddest song yeah. because it's recalling the time that I laughed the hardest. Genuinely affect me. Go but for I, it. But I'm you it. know I'm chasing the dragon. I still. got really just thrown into something. <laughs> Okay, you all right? You all right? Hey, hey, you okay? You okay? You okay? You okay? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 please. You're okay, you're okay. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me, you got it. Caution. It seems like you're breathing. Road end in one All right, I know what's going to get this out of you. <laughs> All right, you're okay. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to hit the thing really hard, and it's going to be fine. All right, he's doing the thing where he makes it take... <sighs> there you go. Thank you so much, Go Go Gadget. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> Okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I saw the light. No, 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 no. That's. All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. You alright? When I was <clears throat> when I was 15, I almost drowned at um, <laughs> Raging okay. Waters. Okay. Well, you're okay. We're good. I've never told anyone about that. It does. It's not embarrassing. That's that's really alright. Okay. Oh <gasps> wow. Okay. I um. I I need I, I need some me time. I need some me time to kind of reset a little bit. All right, well, I'm just going to take a look at this billboard then while you do that. Nope. He, Hander pant? He had a... Did he, you see something? No, no, don't worry about no. that. No, no, don't worry about that. All right. You didn't see anything. He had a, a hand up. I thought it was 
I thought it was this, but it was this. I thought it was one of those digital billboards that I has a screen this, on it. But he was doing you and I are talking about two different things right now. Yep, yep. And let's see the billboard. Oh, hell yeah. It smells like a ranger's win. My lucky day, my lucky game day candle. Ooh, did someone make this bespoke for me? Wow, it's cool they make <laughs> did someone make that just they for me. They make billboards out of trash now these days, I suppose. Hey, hey, excuse me. Go Ducks. Wait, wait, oh, what, sure. uh, when's the next Bucks game? When's that one coming? I said ducks for the record. <laughs> All right. Sorry. But they're Sorry. not doing too hot either, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. Oh. You okay? Kiss my penis on accident. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. You kissed it. It happens. It's a medical thing. Okay. Um, All right. Back to the convention center. Sorry. We're no, 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 no. I no. almost died. So what's the closest, like, Dave and Buster's or entertainment center that I can go to? Um, oh my god, thank you, the upright man. Um, uh, Who is the upright man? I don't man? know. That's uh, They've never interacted with the show in any way before, but they just gave us a dollar, so thank you very much. That's new. Um, I'm looking for a color me mine. I'm looking for some kind of mall, an outdoor mall with three different movie theaters or something. Uh, we have, do you know what a Boomers is? I absolutely know what a Boomers so is. So we have that, it's called a, a Banal, a, a Banal Burst. Come on now. Banal Burst. Awesome. Son, does your mayor have, <laughs> like, an untreated concussion or something? No, it's B-N-O-W-M-E-R-S. Banal Burst? <laughs> Banal Burst, yeah. Yeah. All right. It's pretty fun, they have go-karts. They got go-karts, they got yeah. the go-karts. Okay, take me there. All right, all right. I'm not, I'm not really, I don't really know what you're talking about, if I'm being honest. What was that? It's really hard to understand you when you have the harmonica in your mouth while you're singing. It's up to interpretation. Okay. You ever heard of art? Yes, I have. Mm, Speaking of, there's a billboard up ahead. Interesting. Couldn't tell. The oh, Cock Mangler 5000. Come on. The new model's out already. There's I just bought the 4000. What the goddamn hell? I didn't even put a picture of it. Because they know, they know that they see the words, and the and their audience is gonna buy. I guess they're selling that on the side of the road, right under that billboard. They are. Pull over. All right. Wait. Do you have any left? I need three. Well, it's the six-year anniversary of the Everything Now show, folks. Totally slipped my mind. I don't think any of us talked about it at all. Nope. Nope. Oh well. Congrats. Um. That was great. We, I don't know. I we guess we helped that guy in some way, and that he's gonna buy that thing. That I'm not gonna repeat. But let's get another passenger. Oh hi, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Hi, come hi. On hi, hi, hi. What's um, your name? Uh, Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis. Not, not that one. Not oh, okay. that one. Um, you're, you're a little similar to him already. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I think I, I'm, I'm headed to the the business the business center the business, the business center. center. Okay. The business yeah, yeah, center. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Do you, do you know how to do a business presentation? Not really. I'm a cab driver, but I can try to help you out. Okay. I'm I'm supposed to be heading a product launch today. Okay. Oh God. I'm sorry. I'm in a Freaky Friday with my dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so much going on here. Hang on. Is your dad Jerry Lewis? The, the Jerry no, he's Lewis. a different Jerry Lewis, okay? okay? There's three Jerry Lewises. There's the Jerry Lewis that you truly are. There's the Jerry Lewis, your father, who you body swapped with. And then there's Jerry Lewis, the actor that no one likes, that People you are unrelated me, to. People call me the me, the boy, JJ. Okay, sorry, JJ. JJ. <laughs> What's going on? Talk me through it. You're in your dad's body. You have to do a big presentation for him. I'm in my dad's body and I fucked my mom this oh, morning. Oh, God. Oh, JJ, why? He, she was horny, okay? But JJ, you could have just made an excuse to leave or something. It could have been funny of you evading it in a bunch of ways. I tried, but she said she's nearing perimenopause and that it's the height of her sexual abilities. JJ, oh my god. What? You're 13 years old, you're you're in your dad's body and your mom starts trying to give you a blowjob, you're gonna stop her? Yes, JJ. I would say and like- And now I gotta do a presentation about the new Apple product! That's the least of your problems right now, JJ. This presentation is the least of your concerns. You will never unremember un what happened today, JJ. I don't know how to tell you this. Fine, take us to the bridge. No, 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 JJ, no. Take us to the bridge no. where all those kids killed themselves no. the other year. No, they closed it off. They closed it off so everyone remembers that. 
I know. Now it's just filled with candles. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right. so th they're making a new iPod. Okay, you work, your dad works for <laughs> Apple? I'm learning. Okay. I'm learning that. I was trying this morning to look at all the reports he had while my mom was sucking me no, off. Stop, JJ. JJ, please. <laughs> Don't talk about it anymore. It, put it behind you. Put it behind you, okay? I'll fuck, I'll fuck other people and my dad. My, you mean my parents are going to get a divorce? No, you have to. Have you put any effort into getting out of your dad's body? Oh, what about or are you just like, I guess I'm going to have to do this now? You think I had a plan for body swapping with my dad? No, but did you go to the library or maybe talk go to- Go to the library? I don't know. Maybe there's like a weird old yeah, man Yeah, I in went town. online and I typed father, son, body swap. And guess what? There was nastier stuff than somebody fucking their <laughs> mommy oh on there. Oh my God, JJ, you are, you are screwed. Hang on. We're getting pulled over. Oh no. The, oh no! No, 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 it's okay. It's I don't okay. know how to drive! You don't need to, you're in back situation. It's okay that you don't know how to drive. It's okay. Will they be able to tell this isn't my dick? The only thing that I wielded <laughs> another man's dick? Shh, don't talk about it, don't talk Hi, about it. Hi officer, I'm 41 years old. Hi, uh, I saw some erratic driving earlier. I'm just coming to check, uh, make sure everything's okay. Can I take a look at both of your penises, please? No, no, oh, officer, no. you're not allowed to do that. Yeah, mine's actually. a normal penis that didn't right. just fuck its mom. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Officer, I know we passed a law in town now that you're allowed to ask that specific question, but I feel like you've been abusing it lately. Okay. <laughs> is this what a man's mm. penis look like? Yes, it is. I'm only used to a little boy. Only a few penises look like mm. that. This seems like sort of an edge case, but... And what uh, does that mean? Speak on an edge case. Like edging? <laughs> like edging. I can't elaborate, uh, but unfortunately... Yep, I'm gonna need to see yours as well. Wait, yours mm. looks just like a little boy's. No, no, no. <laughs> That's sometimes they look like that. All right. <laughs> looks just like a rolled up piece of lunch meat. That's sometimes normal. <laughs> hey, officer, All right, I'm gonna take these photos and bring them back to the station to have a closer look. Photos? Uh, what are you looking eyes? for? What are you trying to see? You to guys confirm? have a great rest of your day. What do you mean by it's an edge case? Yeah, an edge cool. case to what? Oh wait, I just realized that guy's my uncle. Oh god. So he didn't wreck. Oh, what's up? Just letting you know, you ran me over a couple minutes I'm ago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You broke my leg. I'm sorry. I, this this kid is stuck in his dad's body and just had sex with his own mother. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of this. That's okay. I'm gonna go to church. You know what? It okay. was good. Go Don't say that. Never say that. <laughs> I came for the first time. Have you ever read Oedipus? Have you been le reading that in school? I'm not going to libraries, you freak. Okay, but what about, are you in school? Did English yeah, class? Yeah, I'm in school. Are I'm you in reading? eighth grade. We're reading The Giver. Okay, well, uh, the, this, this, the Giver is not relevant right now, unfortunately. But maybe you could think about a way, like, you've been given... What's the giver? It's like at the end he lets him see color for the they first see, time. Like, an like, apple. It's an apple or something. It's an apple. Apple iPod. That'll be what the new oh, iPod okay. is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like a whole the first one theme. where the music is in color. This is good. Wait a minute. Maybe this is like big, where you can use your childlike whimsy to actually become a great and advertising fuck an older woman. No, no, no. And dance on a piano? No, maybe that could be. That's your call. But you can become a really good advertising executive. Maybe because I you have could be a good ad exec and a good husband to my mom. Stop. No. What Make if you... my own baby brother slash son. No, no. Good God. Why are you immediately on board with this, JJ? Because I don't want my parents to get divorced. All right. If I have to fuck my mom to keep my family together, then I. Will. That's somewhat admirable, but also disturbing. JJ, did anything trigger this maybe? Could anything have brought it out that could maybe reverse it? Well, my dad and I went on a hiking trip to the witch's cave, but that couldn't have been uh, anything. I think that's almost exactly it. What do you mean? When we went in that witch's cave and that old woman put a curse on us? Yes. That was just an old woman being silly. What? No, what, where is your dad now? He's, He's in at your school. body? Yeah. He's so much cooler than me. He already got a girlfriend. No, no. He got a blowjob no, no, in my no, body. Oh, no, JJ. People... Your dad is a bad guy. <sighs> All right, I think you need to go back to that witch's cave. And I think you need to try to undo this so that your dad can go back to... Well, I don't know if you want your dad to go back. To... I think you want your parents to get a divorce. I think your dad is a, a very much... not good person. Why? He's Because he's better at being a 14-year-old boy than I was. Well... In a way, yes, but it's more that he's not supposed to be doing that, JJ. He had sex with my teacher, Miss Sampson. Okay, well now, that's not as bad, but Is it's also- Is that illegal? It's, it's a moral quandary. It's illegal of Mrs. Sampson. 
It's not illegal of your dad. So in a way, everyone comes out bad in this. In a way, everyone everyone is really showing their true colors in this situation, which is maybe what the witch wanted. Colors, like the new iPod. <laughs> is that the thing they're doing, color? <laughs> yeah. You they can... did that in like 2008. No, the songs will be in color now. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the songs were, were not color before. Okay, that actually sounds cool as hell. Do you own an, do you own an iPod or are you a Zune man? I'm an iPod man. I'm actually an iPhone man. I haven't had anything other than an iPhone in like 10 years. Like nothing else? Well, it's like I don't, I'm not gonna have an iPad. I'm not a baby. It actually makes more sense for a baby to have an iPhone because they're smaller. Yeah, but it's like, why As you would grow I... bigger, you should get an iPad and then get, I don't know, a, a computer monitor. But, if, but I can't make calls on those, and I don't want that. I want something mobile that I can go around. Listen, this is not important. You don't need to worry about your dad's job. I'm taking you to the Witch's Mountain. What? Yes. I'm gonna be late for my Apple presentation. I don't care, and, and frankly, for my son's school play. Frankly, if your dad gets in trouble, good, because he did something really not okay today, and I think he needs to suffer some kind of consequence. So I'm gonna take you back to the Witch's Mountain. No. Do you have something of your dad's on you right now that you could maybe use? No. <laughs> I guess then do you have something of JJ's on you that you could use to, to you know, get back into your body and switch with his? My lucky underwear. Okay, so you're wearing, you, okay, that'll work. That'll I needed work. to wear it for the big business presentation, and also my mom wanted me to wear it when we were No, fine. no, stop, stop, don't tell me that. Oh, everyone in your family is bad. Oh. What do you mean? I my parents to stay together. I can't be a kid of divorce. No, I really think you'll be better off maybe actually getting uh, a, an emancipation or something. Is that what it's called? Where you like don't have parents anymore? What? You probably need that. What? The kids, the kids who get emancipated, that's, you end up on Witch's Mountain. <laughs> you ended up on Witch's Mountain. We're going for our second trip to Witch's Mountain. Yeah, because my dad happen. was threatening me that if I didn't get my shit together, he'd leave me on Witch's Mountain. Okay, look. We had a big fight. What was it about? It was about how I'm not sucking and fucking. Oh my God. My dad was just like, when I was your age, my little shrimp was getting pulled every weekend. Oh, God. JJ. And I never even had my first kiss. JJ, you don't deserve my this. My first kiss was with my mom. Oh, JJ. And the first thing she kissed was my dad's dick. Oh, JJ, no. JJ. I really think this will fuck me up. I really do. I'm going to recommend the only thing I know about this. Next year, probably, you're going to read about Oedipus. In I ninth recommend. Grade? Yeah, probably. I think we read To Kill a Mockingbird. Okay. You read one book a year? We read more than one book a year when I was. In sorry, school. it's 2024 now. We play video games in English class. Okay, sorry. JJ, I think you have to stab yourself in the eyes a bunch of times. What? That's the only <laughs> thing I know to do in this circumstance. That's what. Ed very much. Is, that doesn't sound like a good book. Hang on, I gotta read my reviews while driving. Okay, that doesn't seem dangerous. He kept wanting to show me his member. Eventually, I... Oh, God, I hate that I have to even entertain this. Uh, I lied and told him they all look like that. 69 out of 69. That must be the cop. That must be the cop trying to get, you know, play it off like he didn't. It's cool Yelp star system has gone up to 69 out of yeah. 69. They just write that. There's no star system. They just write... There's no star system no. on Yelp? It's not Those Yelp. Those are all made up? It's Hot Car. This is Hot Car. We have our own app. You have your own Yelp system within Hot Car? What do you mean, our own Yelp system? Can Uber I go has a on Yelp? System. Can I go on your Yelp and write a review? No, I don't have a Yelp. I'm a man. I don't let have me a Yelp. Go, let me on Excuse your Yelp. Jesus Christ. Excuse me. You guys were speeding. Did you guys notice that? I'm s I'm Did you check the odometer? Sorry. I'm going to need to look at both of your penises. No. No, you don't. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Has it grown? No, mm, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. No, like, it doesn't grow anymore. Looks for about you. the same, but I'm gonna it's just like, double check. Can you? Can we? Come on. Okay, driver. <laughs> We've already seen it. You already saw You're it. You're embarrassed because you, you think I'm it got smaller. You think it got smaller. Twin brother. <sighs> Have you and your brother ever swapped bodies? Oh, you mean at the witch's mountain? Yeah. God, yes. Ugh, oh, it was crazy. We were fucking each other's wives. It was that's, nuts. That's less. Anyway, bad. I'm taking these back to the station. To do what? To develop them? Like for what? 
Yeah, to develop them. Oh, good. He shot them on film on his phone. <laughs> okay. iPhone has film now. My dad did that. That's really cool, but I think your dad should, should something bad should happen to your dad, if I'm being honest. What, because he's such a great inventor of the color iPod? No, no that's and not And the it. iPhone that shoots on film? The, the, the color thing is very impressive. Hang on, I need to check my reviews while driving. One second. Oh, let me write one of these reviews. <laughs> you can. Great driver, 9 out of 10. Minus 1 because he got pulled over by a cop and I was scared for the little man boy JJ. Alright, this is someone who's watching oh, the show. They're not somebody in my wrote car. about me in there. I should be able to respond to it. Let me write a review. Okay, you have to download the Hot Car app. And I'm then not allowed to have a phone. Your dad has the app. That's how you got in the car. I don't know his passcode. Okay, so then what are you gonna, how are you going to get into the office? How are you going to do any of this stuff? You think the office unlocks with a phone? <laughs> I don't know, but don't you need his information? Yeah, I do. That's why I'm freaking out about this business meeting. All right, well, we're going to go to Witch Mountain and one second. I'm just going to, we're going to listen to the radio. Then we're going to go to Witch Mountain and then I'm going to go to the auto shop because we already hit our thing, which is crazy. I hope they play a song that kills you when you hear it. I don't think they will. I don't, I have a feeling they won't. Let's listen. Nope. Nope. Wow, they didn't play the song Some from... He's right. He's right. I'm itchy tonight. I gotta calm down. I'm drinking. The radio's ready. I'm drinking this OCA energy drink. It's pretty gross. What's up, fellow kids? It's uh, me, JJ, and uh, I'm just uh, broadcasting here out of the school radio to let everybody know. Let's uh, let's not go up to the witch's mountain. I think uh, whatever's going on right now, we should keep it this way. Um, also, um, if you're a blonde bombshell teacher, uh, you know the one. Uh, why don't you? Head on out to the parking lot after PE today, and uh, for no reason. Anyway, lunch this uh, this afternoon is the pizza that's shaped like a square. Remember that? I mean, you don't have to remember that because we're all in high school and eating that this afternoon. My dad skipped a grade in my body. No. Oh God. Listen, my I'm gonna dad's take gonna care get somebody pregnant in my body before I do. You're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put an end to that. You wait one second, okay? You really shouldn't be using your phone, dude. Shush, it's fine. Shush, shush, shush. Are you writing a Yelp review? No, I'm calling someone. Hey, is this Joe from You Were Never Really Here? Yeah. He asked me. All right, this is going to be confusing. Okay. I need you to kill a child. But he's not no, a child. I do the opposite of that. You no, didn't see I the know, movie? No, I know. The guy from the Lynn Ramsey movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Trust me. Get Kevin on the phone. No, no, no. Shh. Get Kevin. We all live together in the Kevin same house. You want to talk to Kevin from no, when no, you talk no, no, about no, no, Kevin? No, no. Get Kevin on the phone. Joe, Joe, stay with me. Joe. <laughs> Kevin. Joe. Kevin, did you ever swap bodies with your mom in? In real life, I did. Yeah. After yeah. I killed her and. You, do, you don't kill her, you I, do a school shooting. Well, afterwards in the in my real life, I killed her Can you also. put Joe back on the phone? Sorry, he's really bad at talking on phone. Put him back on. Put the what? boy from Ratcatcher on. <laughs> you stop. Joe. Yeah, what's up? Trust me. This child is an adult and you need to kill him. I know this is tough for you. This is you, testing me. No, this, this is, is trust really me. This is really testing me. I'm your best friend, Joe. You gotta believe me. I know that's true. Okay. Will you take care of this? All right, I'll kill this child. Now put Morvan Collar no, on. No, put Morvan Collar on. Stop it, stop it. I still work at the grocery store. All right, that's Witch's Mountain. I guess it's time for me to go. Go up to Witch's Mountain. Listen to me, JJ. You're going to go up to Witch's Mountain. You're going to take your underwear off and, and present it. And have the witch it. suck my no, dick. No, no. You're going to present your lucky underwear to the witch and say, switch me back with my dad. You're gonna do that fast because someone is actively trying to kill. Oh wait, I should have told the guy to kill you. I told him to kill your body. Oh shit! All right, <laughs> ask the witch to work that out for you, okay? All right. Well, at work, I do feel sad. I never get to have my mom suck my. No, no, don't. Don't. I don't want to hear that ever again. Actually, wait. Sit down for a second. I'm gonna give you a head start. <laughs> I think, I think, I think he's going to switch back into his body and then Joe's going to kill him. And then Joe's going to end up killing a kid, actually. That sounds good. 
I should call Joe. But while I call Joe, we should go to the auto shop and we should check in. Uh, tell me a little bit about this guy who's going to get his car fixed. Give me like Thank you. three pieces of information about the guy going to get his car fixed right now. Or enhanced, I should say. Because we don't, it's, it's a fine car. We're doing stuff to it. Um, what a journey with a gratifying ending. I agree. Um, we're talking about Goofy's car right now. <laughs> Likes vampires, is going through a divorce. I like both of those. Um, okay, we're now pitching things that should be in the car. Not looking for that. 14 and swap bodies with his dad. We've already kind of explored that. Um, kind of. God, we, we could do it for much longer, but... Uh, okay, we're again pitching things that would be in the thing. Elevator repairman. Okay. <laughs> Going through a divorce, likes vampires, elevator repairman. Let's go check in on this person, and then we'll be back for more of... It, we'll be back with more of me. Hi guys, uh, my I'm name saying. is, what's up? I forgot the stinger. <laughs> hey, should I start now? Now you start. Okay. Uh, hi guys, uh, my name is Bryce Hamlish. I'm a recently divorced elevator repairman. And uh, I guess one kind of kooky thing about me is I'm a big fan of vampires. Now, I understand they're not real, uh, but I think their lore is fascinating. <laughs> What's up, Ham? We're so excited to have you here and take care of your car, okay? First thing we did was we lined the inside with garlic. So it's just gonna smell like garlic on a custom basis. And then if any of your little vampire buddies come on in, they'll be taken care of, bro. You got this. Okay, um, well, first of all, uh, my name is Bryce, but Ham is kind of a fun uh, nickname. Uh, I did want to clarify, I actually like the vampires. I'm a fan of vampires, so I think having garlic, I, I don't want to, I don't want to scare the vampires away. Hey man, I know you don't like that, but know what? We're gonna take it, come on. You gotta enjoy life. That's what life's all about. That's what I'm just trying to say. Anyway. Okay, I guess I don't maybe totally understand the premise of the show. I thought this was kind of like about um, like taking my car and making Hey man, so I'm hearing you don't like what we've been doing with your car. But that's okay, I'm an engineer. I can start from the bottom, build it up from there. 
So, what are you wanting? Lots of cross? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I kind of thought like you guys were sort of the experts and I would kind of just sort of sit back and, and let my car become really cool. Um, I don't really feel like I should be part of the process. Hey man, your car used to be one big coffin, but we learned to hate vampires. We took the coffin out. <laughs> it's all normal car and pictures of your wife. Okay, I realize I signed some paperwork before of this, but I'm just wondering if I have like an out or... I'm sorry, you seem mad. But I listened earlier and you said you want a cool car. So I filled the truck with ice cubes. Thank you very much. Did he say he filled the truck with ice cubes? I didn't... What truck is he talking about? Where did truck. you get those photos of my wife? My ex-wife, I should say. You didn't bring the truck? Stephanie is a very private person. I, if you're taking candid photographs of my ex-wife, we're no contact right now, but I can tell one of her friends that, that that's not appropriate, uh, okay? Man, we put all those photos in the truck. We might have put them in a different person's car. Okay, I, I drove a Prius. Uh, is there a Prius in the- under all the photos, too. Okay, can I- I took the photo. <laughs> I I know we're no contact. I'm trying to t I'm I this is an emergency. I don't know where they got the photos. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I wouldn't be contacting you right now if I didn't think your safety was a concern. Did you tell was her, her phone number was on the photos? Her what her is phone on the where? Was on the photo. Why is her phone number on the photos? We thought you'd like it. Uh, <laughs> so you Stephanie's ex, huh? <laughs> well, look, look at your competition. Sorry, bro. Why don't you go here? I put some Kleenex in your car so you can cry and jack off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> what, what do you mean you're dating one of the mechanics? I thought I thought we both said that we were gonna go a year without seeing anybody to explore ourselves. Wasn't that the whole point? Is that we got lost in our in each other and we were she gonna find out who are that. Who is this guy? Hi, I heard your name was Ham. <laughs> Hey, I thought that went great. I thought that went really damn good. Welcome back, everybody. It's me, Socrates, been been driving around. I tried to call Joe, his phone went to voicemail. A little concerning. Left him a couple of voicemails and sent him one text. Uh, and I'm just gonna sort of hope that is enough. Thank you so much, Going Zoppy, for subscribing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and reset the sub goal. Wow, right as I said it, that was pretty cool. And maybe raise it to 20? Is that crazy? I think we do that too now? And so if we if we hit it again, we'll we'll go back there and then midway through we're still doing gas station TV But I want to get a few more passengers in so uh, I think we're gonna pick up another passenger. Join the discord if you haven't yet follow the show all that stuff, etc. Hey Oh, hi Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. What's what's your name? My name is uh, Fred uh, Andres Fred Andres? Yeah. Okay. You got it. Thank you. You you'll got it, dog. My, you'll excuse my pronunciation. <laughs> Don't. Thank you. Nah, it's not about that, dog. All right. Thank you. So The fact that you try, that means the world to me, honestly. 
Oh, no problem, man. Glad I could help. Fred, where am I taking you? I'm going to the the field. The field? Yeah. The town field? Yeah, the town the town field. We're doing a a revolutionary war reenactment. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh oh, um why are you dressed like that? <laughs> I'm taken to a little punk rock. <laughs> You're making revolutionary war. I'm reenactment. making this a little punk rock. I'm making this revolutionary war. Yeah. Red coats? Fuck red coats. Fucking studded jacket. I mean, that's really cool, but Fred, isn't the whole sort of notion of a civil war or revolutionary war reenactment to, to like be really specific to the period to show people what it was like? Yeah, and most of the time people are doing Civil War reenactments. Yeah. Which is strange, but I decided I'm taking over this Revolutionary War and we're making a little punk rock. Okay. They get Fred on dress on this fucking shit. I'm making a punk rock. I mean, I guess it was a punk rock endeavor in its own way to revolt against the crown and become an independent country. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am, I am the British. Oh. I'm 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 the British. I'm repping the British. Oh that shit. Okay. Well, that's not. If I'm being honest with you, Fred, that's not very punk rock to be British. I don't know. Have you heard of the Sex Pistols? Hmm. Wait. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> they did a lot of that. Oh, <laughs> you didn't think about that. Not a lot of people think about the Sex Pistols enough. But wasn't a lot of British punk rock just like stealing music from black people and then playing it twice as fast? That's that you can say that about a lot of rock music. I guess so. You're right. We're both right. And the fact that you acknowledge <laughs> that, that means something to Thank me. Thank you so much, Fred. You really make me feel like I'm like appreciated. I really appreciate that. Hey, um fucking you hey, you don't have to pretend. What? You don't you don't have to pretend like you don't recognize me. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to pretend you don't recognize me. It's okay. Well, okay. I didn't want to make a big deal about it. We don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. But yes. if, you wa if you want to, we can talk about it. Yes, I was in Can't Hardly Wait 2 in the band, in the punk band that played at the party for Can't Hardly Wait 2. Yes. Yeah, I didn't want to talk about it, but. <laughs> yeah. It was a big hit. It was a big hit, and I fucking rocked. Thank you very much. They tried to get me to lip sync, but I said no. It's too punk. Did you sing in it? Did they? I feel like I don't remember you singing in it. Did they cut it? Uh, they tr they tried to cut it, but I tried to jump in in as many scenes as possible. Okay, they tried to cut it. They tried to cut it, but I I found my way in every scene of Can't Hardly Wait to. Got it. Got it. I want to hear more about that, but there's this radio show I've been meaning to listen to. So I love that. the radio. I might be on there. Okay, maybe. Let's see. All right, everyone, let's just uh, do our best here to all remain completely silent. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so, I'm so sorry, I, I thought I'd turn that off. All right, we're gonna start again. Dude! Sorry, sorry, that was my dog. I can't believe you. <laughs> Why did you bruh? That's, sorry, it's my, I'm a doctor also, so it's important for me to have, you know, alerts when people are dying. <laughs> There's another one. Start over. <clears throat> Dude. Sorry, sorry, Dude. sorry. I'm watching this on my phone. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry about sorry. that. Sorry about that. <laughs> wow, they were really struggling over there. Oh, that actually rocked. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking about adapting that for my next album. <laughs> album. I'm gonna put out an album. Okay. I think the. Is the hill coming up? On, <laughs> yeah, we're coming. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm working just, on it. I'm working on it. I was just, I was just thinking, like, fucking. I don't remember the hill being. Thank you, thank you. Is it? Is exactly what I wanted. You know what? 
I'll get you the premiere can hardly wait three. Okay, I don't I didn't I don't need that necessarily, but uh, Yeah, you do. Okay. All right. All right. Good luck. Hey punk rock in the reenactment. Thank you. I appreciate it. Got you. Hey. I don't I think he was upset that I wasn't that impressed with can't hardly wait. <laughs> I didn't sell it. <sighs> well, I, have, I feel like I haven't really satisfied a, a passenger yet and what they're going. I'm going to try it on this next one. Let's see. I'm just going to get them where they got to go. Hello? Akar. Hi. 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 What's your name? Uh, my name's Elaine. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, I got to go to a repair store and like an electronics store. Okay, for that? Yeah, for I got to get this repaired for my boss. Okay, sure. Sure. What's what's the situation? If you don't uh, mind me asking. Thank you very much. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he sucks. I work. I'm an I'm an editor on his um. I work on his catalog. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um. But you know, it's just a job. Totally. It's just a job. Um. It's called the Peterman catalog. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. Do I? This is so crazy. Do I know you? Do you, wh where, what area of town are you in? Um, downtown. No, okay. I'm up, I'm up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I live in sort of the same neighborhood as my friends. Gotta get to <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So is this, <laughs> you're doing this kind of full time or? Yeah. Yeah, this is my job. I I ride for and drive around people for hot car. That's cool. Are you single? <laughs> Actually, yes, I, I am. Yes. Oh, hang on. There's a billboard here. One second. Uh, oh, what is? Wow, really scary. Image. Oh my god. What is? What do we think that is? Is that a man and an egg? And you can buy that. And we can buy that. That old man. <laughs> that old man egg. I guess they're selling the old man egg. May an egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're um, mostly in the car, huh? Yeah, yeah, I do a lot of driving around. Uh, so, you know, I, for me personally, like my, I don't really have like another thing, but is there something you're aspiring to other than working on? That's, that's such a good question. God, you ask such good questions. Thank you, thank you. Um, sorry, and you said you're single? I, I did. I, I, I yeah. We don't. I don't necessarily usually date people. I'm driving around. It's oh my of, god, no. Oh okay. I'm not. I'm taking a break from all that. The last few have been absolute duds, <laughs> total duds. Um, plus, I was you know seeing my friend for a little bit, and that didn't work out. Tell me more, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no. Do I aspire to? I mean, I'm a writer. That's pretty I'm a cool. A really good writer. That's pretty. And cool. I am a good editor, even though I don't believe in you know what the catalog sells. Um, and, but you know, mostly I have to be an assistant right now and deal with this guy, Mr. Peterman's. Um, Tell me more about stuff. Jerry. He sounds cool. Um, why are you jealous? No, I'm just. <laughs> is Jerry the guy? I think I sometimes see him performing around town. How do you know? <laughs> There's a guy named Jerry I sometimes see pouring around town. I'm wondering if that's the Jerry. How would you ever connect? Small town. Those it's two. now York. There's so many guys. There's not so many guys named Jerry in town. It could be the guy who sweeps up at the butcher, but I didn't think he would be dating you. You think there's two Jerry's in town, one guy performs, one guy sweeps up at the butcher. Those are the one, two I know. The, and one of those two was the one I was hooking up with. Can you tell me if I'm correct that one of those two is the one you're hooking up with? Listen, I got into this cab not looking for much, maybe mm -hmm. love. Okay, well you just said you were taking a break, but okay. <laughs> and now you're here calling the guy I hook up with a, a butcher? No, he sweeps up for the butcher. And that's not who I think you're hooking up with if I'm being totally candid. Um, you're right, Jerry does perform around town. I knew it's it. Just, it was just too crazy to me that you knew who that was. Sorry, sorry. Uh, but it's over, you know, we're just we're just friends now. God, I wish I could just fix this thing. 
I bet. <laughs> My thing with Jerry is like, I don't think he's that funny. I think the situations he's in is very funny. And whoever sort of orchestrates that, be it God or someone else, that's very funny. But whenever I'm seeing mm -hmm. him, I'm kind of like, what's what's so interesting about this exactly? I don't really get it. You think you could do a better job? I think if someone took that formula, say an old Jewish man in Beverly Hills, and tried to do the exact same thing, it would be 100 times better. Well, why don't you go ahead? If you're so funny and you think you could do a better job than my friend Jerry, whose last name you don't even know. True, true. Then why don't you tell me a joke? Well, That's what he does, by the way. He's a stand-up. Right, but so for me, it's like, I would, for, it would be more of a situation. Okay, well, right now, take this. You're sitting in a car with a, with a beautiful woman. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. You're both single. Uh-huh. Take it away. Okay. So I'll, I will be in the car and I'll go, a crazy thing just happened to me. A child that body swapped with his dad. <laughs> And he was in my car. So then I called this guy named Joe who kills bad people because his dad. You're not doing it right. Sorry, That's sorry. That's not what he does. Sorry, sorry. Excuse I... me. Oh. You know how fast you guys were going? I, I no, I'm sorry. No, I he don't. He was a little bit distracted. Oh? Well, distracted by what? Just the conversation, sitting next to a beautiful woman. <laughs> All right, well, listen. My triplets uh, said that there was a there was a guy around here driving just over the speed limit. So, sir, your triplets? Yeah, I have two. I have two identical triplets. <laughs> We're gonna have to. Sorry, what were you saying? What just happened? <laughs> Sorry, we, it was a transition scene. Ah, sounds like it was really <laughs> really it. loud. All right. Listen, I'm going to let you off with a warning, all right? But if me or any of my two identical brothers see you again, I'm going to need to take a photo of your penis. Okay. Can they just text it to you? <laughs> How about this? Sure. I'll take the photo of your penis. No, I'll no, send it. Elaine, Elaine, no. No? No. Okay. Just trying to be helpful. I understand that. I understand. I appreciate that. Ugh. I would have driven to the repair shop, but my car, my friend's borrowing my car today. Who's your friend? His name's um, George. Mm. Yeah. What's what's he like? I, I don't think I would have ever met him because I don't think he does any, he probably doesn't do anything public facing, right? Well, I don't know. It sounds like you're a big Jerry fan. I just know Jerry because he, he, he has a job where me, a regular guy in town, might know about him. I, I imagine that's probably not the case with George, so I'll have to ask you to tell me about him. Okay, weird way of saying it, but uh, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's just, he's, uh, I'll be honest, he's a little bit um, pathetic. Mm, totally. He's going through it, and um, he's never not, you know. You know what I think might help him? If he did a bunch of improvised Shakespeare. <laughs> what I makes think, you say that? I think just a, a, a gut feeling I have is if your friend George decided this isn't really working for me, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bunch of improvised Shakespeare with like a, with only men. I think that would be okay. And it, again, it's kind of sounding to me like it's something you want to be. No, doing. no, no. So for let's me, no. hear it now. No, I, I don't even speak like that kind of stuff. I'm just and the guy. I don't go. know. All right. Uh, <laughs> Your Honor, I'd, I'd like to uh, uh, be so humble as to to talk to thou. Is that something? That's something. Okay. Honestly, I'm impressed. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? How about this? We forget this thing. I ch I throw it out the window. Let's just stop at a coffee shop. Okay. Well, I'm in the middle of a. Me work and day. you. We just get coffee. We just chat. Hey, is that a hot car? <laughs> oh my God. Is that a hot car? Thank you very much. Hey. What what are you doing here? Elaine. It's me. This is my ex-boyfriend. His <laughs> name is Putty. Oh. Hey man. Have I seen you around town fully in devil's face paint? The devil! Ah. High five. Okay. <laughs> hi, hi. So I guess you are you told me you were single. Like. I said ex-boyfriend? Okay, okay. You guys seem to be getting along really well. <clears throat> Where am I taking you guys? Well, we're not. Where are you? Oh, you're also. You also have to get this repaired. Where am I taking the I two of you together? Unbelievable. <laughs> where am I taking the two of you together right now? I gotta get I'm this. I'm not going with him. Well, How about where are you this? going? You take him to the repair 
shop mm -hmm. and then we leave him there and then why don't you know we can go get a drink somewhere well see i'm in the middle of a work day but i was gonna i was gonna say maybe you and i could make a plan to meet somewhere and we'll both just show up at that time at that place and hope we are both there you don't want to take my number I mean, I guess I could take your home phone number and then when I get home tonight, I can call you and then say, I'm going to go meet you at that place. But I figured let's cut out the middleman. Why don't we just make the plan right now to meet at that place and just hope we both show up at the same time? That's, uh, that's so romantic. Don't mind him. She really likes this move. <laughs> There's a move. Oh, Tell me about it. Up? It's a swirl. God! Not, 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 the, not, the, not the knuckle. I don't uh, like that. I'm sorry. Please don't yell at my passengers because this is my, I'm like ho I'm like hosting them all, right? So oh, I need to make I'm sure. I'm sorry. Taken care it's of. just I'm just gonna have a little side conversation with him if that's okay, just no, so he absolutely. feels taken care of. What does what she like? She likes this move. Okay, tell me a lot. <laughs> I got it from this guy, Jerry. Tell me a lot about it. Okay, a, a lot about it. You do a swirl. Mm -hmm. You don't use a knuckle. Okay. And you you re It's about eating pussy. Oh, oh got my you, God. Got you. Got you. <laughs> you Hey, high five. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Sorry, I was just making sure he was taken care of as well. Why don't we listen to the radio and we can all just kind of hang out, all right? Great. Three of us. I didn't say I was ready. Ah, oh, shit. I'm sorry. I hope it's the Eagles. I'm so trigger happy today. Go ahead. <laughs> It's not funny. Nothing he's ever done is funny. <laughs> wow, that guy sounded interesting. I don't, I don't really know him. Mike was off of that old thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Back, back. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I said some things I'm, I'm not really proud of uh, in the heat of a moment. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop laughing. It's not funny. Great. Oh, Worth okay. It. Well, Worth it. You know that guy? Yeah. Yeah. You guys know that guy? Yeah. I've good never met him yeah. personally. A good friend of yours? Very good guy. Show me how He's a good person? What are some of his positive qualities? What's like a nice thing he's ever done for another human being? Listen, you're coming in really hot <laughs> for someone who's desperate to go on a date with me. Okay. Oh I have to go... <laughs> Peterman is probably wondering where the heck the receipt is for this thing. All right, well, <laughs> we're, we're coming up on a, on the repair shop. Do you want to make a plan to meet somewhere at some time? Let's meet at the top of the... Um... Empire State Building. Yes. <laughs> okay. And uh, New Year's. New Year's? Okay. Day. Day. All right, so seven months from now. You could pitch something if oh, you uh, have it. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, hey, hey, Didn't I good. just hear this person? Yeah, they are. Uh, they ride back from the Tonight Show. Genuinely oh. just hit me in the face. <laughs> hard. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, easy, easy. This is my passenger. I have to look after my passenger. Um, well, yeah, if you have a better place or time, then... Okay, what about, there's, there's one diner in town I know of. Maybe we can go there at, like, at like you know, sometime sort of ambiguously in the middle of the day. Like, 3 o'clock or something, we can go to that diner. That's great. Elaine, looks like you're losing the bet. <laughs> bet. Okay, I'm getting My part of here. a bet, Elaine. I'll see you there at 3. I'll see you at 3. Later. Uh, get, get yogurt. Okay. Drop, drop me off. No, at you Leno. didn't. You didn't use the thing. <laughs> you didn't use the thing. Get out. You gotta use the app, Kramer. <sighs> All right. Kramer for real punched Elaine in the face. Wow. All right. Friends. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go to the gas station. I'm running out of gas here, so uh, we're gonna get some uh, check in, watch some gas station TV. And then I'll pick up more passengers. We're, we're already making progress towards the going back to the auto shop. I have a feeling we're going to do that again. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to join the Discord. Follow the show. Follow all the socials. You get it. It's Bumper.
Hey guys. Thank you very much. Got some gas station salad. Gas station has a salad bar. Hi, my name's Bryce Hamlin. You might recognize me from the hit show, F My Car. Well, you might remember from my episode that things didn't quite turn out the way I expected. Thankfully, I got this product, which really brightened my day after a not so great experience at the auto shop. Yep, without this product, well, let's just say I would have had a pretty bad day. Yep, on my way home, I bought one of these shirts. I love <laughs> playing, playing fantasy, fantasy football, football, but I happen to suck at it and will always end up losing, which is a huge <laughs> embarrassment. Uh, you must th you must think I'm nuts to keep, to keep trying. And that, that sure just made me laugh and laugh. You know, a lot of people said, Bryce, your wife left you. A TV show destroyed your car. Your elevator business is basically defunct. How could a t-shirt make I your turn life this one better? Off? Well, Can I turn this off. Well, there we go. <laughs> I thought that shirt was inappropriate. I, I wouldn't wear that shirt. All right, let me turn it back on. Hello. Hello, I'm a rich woman. I don't have to be doing this job working in advertising, but I choose to because I've decided to come into my own in my late 60s. I'm a rich woman, I have a rich husband, and I have two sons I hate. And today I'm here to promote a wonderful item. This is what saved my marriage. Because you see, my ass is not naturally big and like two bosoms. I naturally have a flat ass, well not naturally, um, a, a, a steamroller rolled over my butt during puberty. So I have a flat ass and it boiled up and I have huge tits and my husband doesn't like that. So I bought this product and it saved my marriage and I, con I conceived two sons. I'm rich and I don't need this job. The fact that she's rich really makes me believe her. She doesn't need to be selling me that. So it's gotta be good. And she has a real, uh, oh. Hi, I'm Cal Norton from Cal Norton Auto Parts, and I know you've been, you've been, you've been itching to see what's next thing I got to sell for you, and this will absolutely change your life and and, and give you give you meaning and love and and everything that you could ever want and ever need. This is Cal Norton from Cal Norton Auto Parts. Hook rub. <laughs> Mind you, a porn hub. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing makes me feel better than thinking about porn while I'm rubbing my pork. <laughs> and I'm not talking about my dick. Anyway, Cal Norton Auto Parts number one source of pork rub is pork rub, porn hub, pork rub. You gotta, you got, you wanna eat it up. Put down that salad. Put it down! Me? Put down that. <laughs> oh, that one was the most real one we've ever done. That one was like. Yeah, it's an auto parts guy selling pork rub. I'd actually, yeah. Anyway, I'm sure this will also match that verisimilitude-wise. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> my name's Hank, and life's been getting a little bit crazy with my job that I cannot get into. <laughs> I had to take a little break, and I needed to relax, and that's why That's why Fuck. <laughs> I use I this it. I like to sip from this little Spider-Man sippy cup. Oh, it just makes me feel like I'm young again and like I haven't taken a life. Which I haven't. <laughs> Which I haven't. <laughs> Fuck. Over Seinfeld. I love this little fucker. Look at him. Look, look at him. He healed all of my anxieties, basically in one sip. Hospital stays can be expensive. I'm struggling so much with locating. 
<laughs> Again, just like a total slice of life moment. A guy who won't tell you what he does for work, selling you the Spider-Man sippy cup and saying it has nothing to do with a murder they did not commit. That's a commercial you watch every day. Is here good? Thank you very much. No. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at my guy. No, Warren, you're not in the frame. You gotta take like a few big steps to your left. Split Too the far. difference. Split the difference. Other way. <laughs> <laughs> You like beer? You want to drink some beer? I got some song. Rocky, you gotta go back in the show. Okay. Hey, everybody, it's me, the Voodoo Ranger! <laughs> you may remember me from when Voodoo Ranger sponsored Everything Now Show for one month. Well, that contract is kind of up right now, so I'm selling other stuff so I can maintain some financial stability and pay for my three kids. Uh, so, this next item that I'm selling to you, yep, it's my clogs. It's my snail clogs, oh, wow. and I feel beautiful in them. I wear them at home because last time I wore them out to a bar with some friends, they all kind of clowned on me for it. But it doesn't stop me from wearing it at home, showing it to my three sons who are very expensive to keep alive. Them Voodoo Rangers signing off. <laughs> now let's do one more. That, that, that looked really good. Yep. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, you doing all right? Nope. Do you want to talk? buy something. What the hell? The Eggman. Please buy my dad. This guy again? Please buy my dad. He's no. sick, and in order to pay for his medical bills, we're gonna have to sell him. That's how it goes. This is a permanent condition. This is a permanent condition. He got because he ate too many eggs. This is my bio dad, by the way. That's why we look kind of similar. <laughs> Thank you, Edrin32. Thank you so much for the subs. Um, someone's talk, posting statistics about Armenia or just facts about Armenia. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm posting on Instagram right now that today is our six year anniversary. Can you believe that? Six years, huh? Six years, that's crazy. 
How's the last six years of being kind of just like a stooge for us to slap around been for you? It's nice when I get the attention, honestly, but it, you know, I, uh, are we near the bathroom at all? We're getting close. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it's an honor to be an extra character on Everything Now show. It's been a wild, wacky ride. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I like when we bring the cops out because we can kind of debase them and make them do stupid stuff. I mean, we're all fucking fun. idiots and lame and weird. Like, we're all, there's like 20 twins, you know? Yeah, yeah. 20 twin tuplets. Yeah, this is what it absolutely, is. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm so sorry. The, we oh, we're a, getting close for sure. We got a new bathroom attendant at the, um, at the station and he's a bit of a poop Nazi mm. and he kind of doesn't make it easy to use the toilet. You have to kind of do things right by his. Will he say something like if you met, if you offend him in some way, will he be like no poop for you? Yeah, exactly. Uh. He screams no poop for you. And then my friend got to poop, but I'm sitting there with that, not having pooped. Why don't you just go to a different place to poop? That is why you're driving me away from the police station. Ah, uh, Okay. Sorry. My leg. You just hit that guy. Sorry, six year anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Very well handled. Very well handled. Thank you. Um, all right, well, seeing as you are just a thing we make fun of, um, I'm just gonna. I'm actually good. I I'm actually good. And what is that implying? I'm actually. Ah! <laughs> Six years of magic. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, uh, thank you so much to everyone for the subs and everything so far. Um, we're going to pick up another passenger, I think. Um, and then we're just going to keep at it. JJ! 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 Oh, no. Oh, don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> so I take it that your son did not get to, to did not go to Witch's Mountain. Uh, yeah, I I told my son uh, JJ, don't go to the mountain. I'm having such a good time. I'm having sex with. High school teachers, beautiful high school teachers. Just the teachers? I'm virile, I'm young. <laughs> I don't have to do that stupid report for work anymore. My life is awesome now. Yeah, well, uh, hang on, I have to read my reviews while driving. But, I miss my wife. Rear seat was full of used anal beads, horrible smell. Driver was nice though, three and a half stars. Those are my worry beads, those are not anal. First, that's not what those are for. They're what? They're worry beads. You you kind of play with them within your hands. Whatever floats your boat, man. Okay. So you miss your wife? Yes. When I switched bodies with my young son, I thought this is going to be great for me. He will go and do all of my work projects, deal with my ball and chain wife while I go to the high school, shooting basketballs to impress all the beautiful cheerleaders. Okay, so just, just to get on the same page, you fully orchestrated bringing your son to Witch to Mountain, Mountain to switch bodies to with you so you could Freaky do Friday. pedophilia. <laughs> to do what? So that you could do pedophilia. No! Oh, hang on. I just want work. to look at the pretty cheerleaders and have sex with the adult teachers. Oh, hang on, hang on. You did it again! <laughs> Sorry. You have to wait. <laughs> There's a thumbs up! Go ahead. Fuck it, wee ball. Oh wow, really that good. looks nice. Really good. I'd love to buy one of those from the side of the road. Another billboard? Those, okay. It's a guy. What is being advertised it's here? It's a guy chained to a grilled cheese. Is this like a PSA? <laughs> I don't know. Like it's a guy chained. Are you tired to a of grilled being cheese? addicted to carbs? Not even <laughs> once, people. Not even once. Anyway. When I found out that my son got a blowjob from my wife, it woke How'd me you up. Find out? How'd you find out, by the way? It's all over X. <laughs> okay. Everybody is Xing oh, about so, it. So the secret's out. You guys don't need to keep this ruse going. Everyone knows you're an adult in a child's body then. Uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> or, is, or is word spreading across X that you yes. had sex with your wife this morning? <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> but I'm But you saying. know that that's actually your son. And I was like, wait a minute, I didn't do that. 
It so, must have been my son and my body so, from when we switched because of the witch's curse. Going around X right now is a bunch of people talking about, hey, a guy who invented color iPod. Yes. Had sex with his wife this morning before going to work. And because then he was it was for work. so good is what they're saying. Ugh. And I was like, Barbara never did that to me. I couldn't even come from oral. All right, all right, all right. Don't tell me that. Kind so of now I'm thinking I gotta get back in with Barb. I've gotta get the fire started again. Reunite our relationship. I'm tired of winning basketball tournaments. I'm tired of being the star of the chess team. Do you think it's maybe just because you two don't have the spark anymore? It's like not something. I don't know. Things at home have not been so she's great. She's not doing something different this morning. You know, it's probably been your your the reason. Sorry. Hi. What's up? Why Hello. is the registration? Uh, okay. No. 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 It's me, JJ, the star of the basketball team. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> Wait a minute, I hate cops. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having a bad day. I can't day. keep doing this. It's okay, so am I. I got a Freaky Friday with Whitey Duval from Eight Crazy Nights. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, you sounded just like him. Yeah, that's the kind of what happens when you get Freaky Friday. Well, Whitey, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's tough for you to be a cop because you're so loving and caring for your whole community. So. Yeah, I gotta go against my personality, although the guy's body's kind of nice. But he's I got, guess if kinda I... He's kind of got a lot to work with, unlike if, me. If I live in the same town as Not Whitey... Not saying that Whitey Duvall's body type is bad or anything like that. It's just nice being inside of a 5'11 Filipino guy. Yeah, <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you. I know that's right, brother. <laughs> You Freaky Friday, anybody? No. <laughs> no way, dude. Me That's, personally, What does no. that even mean? I've never done it. Yeah, but if you could, who would you do it with? Pfft, not my dad. Also not my dad for me, I would say. If I could do it with anyone, maybe I would do it with, like, uh, Artemi Panarin. He's a guy who plays for the New York Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch soccer. It's hockey. All right, boys, keep it up. Doing a good job. For okay. me, it'd be Idris Elba. That's a good one. <laughs> You have some driver reviews, by the way. Oh, nice. I picked Panarin, too, because he doesn't really need a fight. He's so good. You don't even hit him. All right, it's let's exhausting see. to keep having to do this. Uh, yell, get in, and point this time time gun at me. Wait, what's going on? R yelled, get in, and point his time time gun at me. I ran time bullets were too fast. 500 lifetimes instantly. Rich and poor, robust and weak. All humanity, I shall... All humanity I embraced gave me his snail clogs. Irony, four out of five. That was written by a chat GPT, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe, I don't know. Uh, this driver had positive stories about old Armenia, which was delightful. However, he tried to sell me plutonium past its expiration date. One out of 69? Come on! One out of 69 is dramatic. Would the witch want, like, a gift, maybe? I don't know. She said that the curse was irreversible. Wait, she but did? I'm, yes. She can only do one freaking Friday. <laughs> but then what about the Whitey Duval? <laughs> the trick is, though, that she can only be doing one freaking Friday between two people. Okay, but okay, here's but the solution. But I can freaking Friday with somebody different. Okay, here's the solution. Here, Stay with me, stay with me. Okay. You freaking Friday with Whitey Duval. <laughs> Okay. The police officer wait, that was wait. just here? No, 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 no. You Freaky Friday with Whitey Duval. The police officer is now in your body. Okay. okay. I'm following. Okay. Now you go to the police officer's body. Right. And you Freaky Friday. Freaky with him. Friday. Yes. Now you go. Now I'm the police officer. Yes. And I can arrest my wife for no. sucking my son's dick. <laughs> no. Then you go. Genius. No. Thank you, stop man. It, stop it. No. <laughs> I was so close. We hit the sub goal again? Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. You've also got three more driver reviews. Oh, yeah, in a second, in a second, in a second, in a second, in a second. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to go back to the auto shop. I said it's ready! Okay. <laughs> uh, this driver does keep his hands on the wheel. Top every day. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> would, not, would not let me bring my support ferrets into the car. Now I have cancer. Five out of five because he didn't try to talk to me. All right, I'll take a five out of five. That's there's really a, good. There's another one. There's another one? Then why was I... Sorry. Uh, nine out of ten. Only weird thing was he specifically told me not to tip through the app, but to Venmo Chris Chalakian. Yes. And let's leave that on screen a little longer. <laughs> I think I think there's a dash there. Let me m make sure. I'm pretty sure there's a dash between Chris and Chalakian. Okay, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just double check on that. All right, you can go ahead and put it up again. It has the right. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> right there. No, 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 no. Ten dollars. Stop that. Try to help. <laughs> Way to go. Uh, it's it's a mess. <laughs> this one. This. I probably shouldn't have clicked so many things over here. Okay. Yeah, there's a hyphen, so it's Chris hyphen Shut up. Shut up. Sorry, Shut up. sorry. We're gonna go back to the auto shop. So let me get some information about this uh, person we're gonna see. Before yeah. we had Bryce Hamlin, we don't really care about him. We're over him. Yeah. Who, what what else can we get? What other information? And again, don't pitch me. What if there was a hot tub in the car? That's not for you. Behemoth is just fully saying Elaine. Oh, that's actually a great idea. Let's have Elaine have her car get fixed up. Okay. Let's have Elaine get have her car get fixed. I think that's going to be really fun. Or we're going to totally botch this. But I have a feeling we're going to nail this. No, you're you're good. You got time. All right, I'm gonna go pull up a bunch of Wikipedia pages really quick, and then we're gonna go watch, you, you get it. Uh, my name's Elaine, and uh, I would love for you guys to fuck my car. Uh, <laughs> I'm just looking to make some small changes. Uh, I would love for there to be sort of like a bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, Elaine. My name's Bryce Hamlin. I don't, I'm not familiar. I don't actually, I work uh, as an elevator repairman, but I, I'm not familiar with cars. I didn't realize that I would become a mechanic after my episode. Is that part of the format? Someone just got hurt back there. Ooh, Bryce, did you say Bryce? Um, question for you. 
Are you single? You don't. You don't want Bryce. What? You don't want Bryce. Why not? What's the deal with beds? <laughs> Never want to put up. No, we we all want to be in bed or we want to be out of bed. It's crazy. No, the, the, the thing is, I was in Central Park the other day, and I was talking to some people, and, you know, it was, it, I, I went up to them and I said, What are you doing? You should be in bed. You should absolutely be in bed. I don't know what that had to do with my car. Um, <laughs> I'd love to hear somebody's plan for my car. Um, I Okay, so frankly, I'm thinking about <laughs> taking your car on a date of sorts. I'm gonna bring it to the car wash. I'm gonna get the va free vacuum at the end. Isn't that fun? Five minutes with a free vacuum. Funny things you can do with that. And uh, on honestly, I'm gonna have fun with it. And then when you get when you get the car back, you'll it'll be lived in. You know what I mean? I was gonna be the hamburglar for. Sorry, he's gonna do, he's gonna come in my car and it's gonna be lived, uh, that's disgusting. I would love for somebody to either take me out and fix my car and the, what, the cops are here now? <laughs> yes, officer, I was seriously injured during my time here. I was not supposed to work as a mechanic. I didn't realize that was part of the show. They haven't left me leave. People are getting hurt here. I think most of these people aren't actually mechanics. They're just former contestants on the program. They, someone just handed me this when I get here. Can someone warn Elaine, please? Hello? Rabble, rabble. Oh my god, I'm hearing that uh, people are getting injured. Bryce, specifically. <laughs> Bryce, let me take care of you. You really don't, you really don't want I'll take, I can nurse you back to health. Are you serious? I just gotta dust off my old diaphragm. Look, I took a look at your car, and I met <laughs> this Bryce Ham. This guy, he's not my kind of guy. I'm George's dad, by the way. <laughs> if anyone could give me a little update on my car, uh, that would be amazing. I'm honestly, I'm getting a little stressed. Peterman's George's dad is working on it. That son of a bitch. I'm you from the future. <laughs> do not get your hair cut. Don't do it. <laughs> My God. Hey, you gotta go hang out with Crystalia. <laughs> Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Wrong guy. A show. I guess this auto repair shop has turned into like a portal of sorts. <laughs> I got it wrong. I said Chris D'Elia was in New Adventures of Old Christine. He was in Whitney. A guy who looks like Chris D'Elia is in New Adventures of Old Christine. Uh, yeah, I'm Brian Cranston, do uh, dentist character. <laughs> What did I say again? You said you're gonna come in on yourself. I'm gonna come in on myself? You That's not even it. as bad. All right. 
Well, folks, welcome back. We're going to reset the sub goal, but who are we kidding? There's 25 minutes left. Um, thank you so much, everybody. This has been so good so far. We've, we've picked up a lot of people and taken them where they need to go. Hey, booty anime. Um, we did a lot of Seinfeld stuff, and we also met that kid who also is an adult. So we've learned some lessons and stuff. I think for these last 25 here, I'm just going to pick up a few passengers. Hopefully everything's kind of chill and mellow. Take me to 69th and 9th. Okay. <laughs> there was just an accident there. I gotta get footage of it. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus, you should really get your own car if you're trying to be that speed. I'm in between cars right now. Okay, what's your name? You don't need to know that. I'm a stinger. What does that mean? That means I film the stuff you see on the news. Patches. Okay, okay. Road end in 100 feet. All right, I'll get us a little shortcut. This might be a good. This let might me get good, this. This oh, let me night, get this. Nightcrawler, first time chat. That's pretty ironic. Okay, okay, everything's okay. It's everything's fine. But your lens cap's on. I don't know if you noticed that. <laughs> 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 might be an issue. <laughs> what did you film Fuck, already? I filmed the murder tonight. Oh no, not. Fuck. You, you you got the guys who did it. Well. I shot them doing it. Okay. And then followed them home. Okay. Got more footage of them there with their wives. Jesus. Making love. Sold that to the news. You sold that to the news? But what did you say your, your <laughs> lens cap was on? They're gonna be so mad. That bitch at the news, she'll <laughs> take whatever I give her. Jesus Christ, you're a bad person. Sorry to be saying that. Do you think, <laughs> fuck, fuck, I didn't get enough footage tonight. Fuck, do you think you could hit someone? No, but I do have a thing. Start filming. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad person, but got rid of him. Hey, there's a Hawaiian cinematographer flying through the sky. Shit, everyone keep your head down. <laughs> oh, that explains All right, I'm gonna get another passenger. Take me to 69th and uh, 9th! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a murder, I know, and, I know. and I think I heard someone's gonna try to kiss their own dick. Uh, no, I. It's fine. I, I'll take you there, but someone's already on it. Just so you know. Oh, oh, oh go. They're not gonna get the shots that I can get with this bad boy. Well, I'll give you a little head start. I love head. Make sure you're. <laughs> hey, another Hawaiian cinematographer. <laughs> George's podcast about his... Okay, we're going back to the Seinfeld stuff. Uh, we're going to get a radio thing going, and in the meantime, I'm going to keep picking up passengers. I love head. Great final words from Super Turtle 8245. I agree, Super Turtle 8245. Um, Hot car! Someone do Ryan Gosling's drive. <laughs> 69 and 9th, uh, and step on. on it! How is that even going to do anything for you? I'm taking stills. Okay. That's not going to be very helpful. People won't need stills. They can just freeze the image of the video and Listen, use that as a still. If it bleeds, it leads, all right? What? I don't, what? What does that have to do with the... You don't need stills. Of course you need stills. What do you think people are going to look at in magazines? They can't watch a video in a magazine. We've tried that. Okay, I'm going to get the radio going because I think you were hoping to be ejected. I really time. was. So I'm going to get the radio going. It's crazy! <laughs> my dad is is Ben my dad is Ben Stiller's stuff. What yeah? Oh, oh it's his it's, it's his dad too. It's going crazy out here! We gotta come down! Everybody's gotta relax! Okay? And I got I got a, I got a job with the Yankees, and I'm trying to change their uniforms, but they're getting all in my ass about it. They need to come down! They're all right. And know what? We should eat pussy with the knuckles. <laughs> George, is, George is getting upset now. Uh oh. I don't know what's happening. Oh, sorry, we glitched there. Is that how you do it, by the way, with the knuckle? What? Do you do it with the knuckle? Do what? You heard him. I don't know what that is. Got a couple driver reviews. That'll be ready in a second. I'm still trying to figure out how to. Just, just don't them. tell me till they're ready. Okay, well, I'm just letting you know. Because I get too, I get too excited. <laughs> that is my fault. I should, I should be working by your excitement. You should be able to regulate my mood more. Because medicine's not going to be doing that. Anyway, let's get another vaccine. <laughs> oh God.
and I love her very much. That's not a joke. Oh, uh, we're we're getting pulled over, and then we're gonna talk to some cop. Hopefully, they don't want to look at my peen, and we'll just sort of let them go on their way. Oh. Okay, so we're seeing you about your, is it your knee? You no. Said it was, no? I'm waiting for a cop. Are you a cop? Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, I'm a woman cop. Okay. Yes, we can be cops. Okay. Woo! Finally! Now, now show me your dick. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, sir, that's too small. <laughs> There's no law. There's no law. My leg. Vote for me and there will be a law. Okay. Men with small dicks Well, I'm not going to vote for you, obviously. Well, if they don't take the vote away from women, all the women vote for me to be mayor and I'll outlaw the men with the tiny dicks and they can go start a society at the edge of town. Mayor Girl Cop! Right, mayor on. Girl Cop! Hang on. Mayor Girl Cop! Thank you. I have to go, you you know, commit some crimes because I'm still a police officer, yeah, even yeah. though I'm a lady. I hear you. What are you going to do with those photos? The ones of the dicks? Yeah. That my brother sent me? Your brother? Well, what about the ones you just took? Oh, well, I'm going to jerk off to them. Okay, you're good. You're good. Woo! Thanks. Thank you. That was the, potentially our new mayor. All right, we've got some reviews. Driver said, Jesus take the wheel. Jesus showed up and took us to Red Robin. Ten out of yum. <laughs> Five stars. This driver didn't drive us off a cliff, which was super. Augie Vaughn. I was given a mustache ride. I didn't ask for it. It hurt. 69 out of 69. All right, I'm getting a lot of 69 out of 69s today. That's pretty cool. I'm really liking that. Let's get another passenger. Hi. All right, all right. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, yep. then. All right, Let's do then. it. Yep. It's going fucking off. Yep. What's yeah. up? That's right. I'm yeah. Little Francis. This here's Big Tony. They call me Big Tony. <laughs> little Francis yeah. and Big Tony. That's yeah. right. And we like it. one ride, please, right to our club. Oh, yeah. You're club owners. Mm -hmm. That's correct. We're brothers. We're club owners. We're brothers. Yeah. Let's go. Oh Let's do God. it. That's really cool. I mean, how do you guys get the money to open a club? You seem pretty what young. What the hell kind of question is that to yeah. be asking two brothers? Yeah, I'm just curious. You seem so young to be like owning a club in town already. That's really cool. Your mom's too much on the quid, mate. Okay. <laughs> what? Th but that doesn't answer. Okay. Sorry. My brother's got a question for you. What? Yeah. You ever had? Um... Yeah, you say my question, <laughs> mate. Yeah. I think he was gonna ask about like what, like what oh kind yeah, of drink yeah, yeah, you yeah. Like to yeah, drink. yeah, 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 yeah. Color drink I like. What to drink? what kind of drink you? Oh, don't be smart with me. Oh, uh, you little Albert Einstein. I'm eh? sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, Guy, I like Coke. I like. Oh, uh, <laughs> you want a little bit no, of the like sniff, that. sniff, Just mate? Like yeah. Cola. You ever had a? You ever had a mojito? I've had a mojito. You gotta go to our club, then you'll really have a mojito, mate. Oh, okay. You have not had a mojito, have you? <laughs> I, from I our club. Told you I have not from your club. I'll I'll go to your club if you're if you want me to go. I mean, you curious. don't even know the name. I you don't, don't even hang, know hang the on. name. You didn't even no. stop. <laughs> have Sorry. you ever have you ever heard of the hacienda? The Hacienda? No. That's a famous club that was owned by members of New Order. Alright, well have you ever heard of have you ever heard of this? Jesus it's, Christ. I guess it's a squirrel I guess it's a squirrel that you wear on your hand. All right, that's amazing. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. That's, all right. Yeah, that's, all right. that's okay. okay. You don't mind him. No. no I hey, no mind. Um, you haven't even asked us, asked us the name of the club. I, I was about to do that. What's the name of the club? It's, it's, do you even want to go? I do really want to go. I've never, I've, you believe it or not, I've never been to a nightclub. <laughs> oh, mate, come on. Really? Yeah, you guys were the only game in town, I guess. That's I didn't even know there was one. I just oh, assumed this. Oh, moments in love have happened in a nightclub. Really? That's the, right. The only time I've ever been happy is on the dance floor. Wow. Sipping on the mojito. Maybe that's what it is. Our club serves pretty much exclusively mojitos. That seems like a gimmick. I don't know. If I'm being honest, that kind of just seems like it's not 
It's a, it's a I'm taking control okay, of the wheel. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Give my brother the wheel. No, no, no. We, all right, yeah, you want to play that? I want to play that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's some you, British cinematographers flying through the sky. You come into my car and you're British. That's strike one. <laughs> <laughs> then you try to grab my wheel. That strikes two and three. <laughs> All right, let's get another. Hi. Hi. Um, take me to the graveyard. Okay. Okay. Is everything okay? Is everything okay? Sixty. It's sixty ninth and ninth, right? Oh yes. Are you are you a night crawler? No, no, no. I'm not a night crawler. I'm... Okay. What's going on? I'm gonna dig up my husband. Oh my God! And your husband's buried in the graveyard, and you're gonna dig him up? Well, he's buried and he's dead, but I want a divorce. Why? You're a widow. Well, I've met someone else. Do you think your husband's not gonna be? Okay with it? I'm... Oh no, the police! They probably heard I was talking too loud! No, no, it's okay. Oh I no, know, they know I want a divorce from my husband! Ma'am, I don't know if you're from a different time where everyone's much more formal and strict about these things, but once your husband's dead, you're free to date other no, people. No, we specifically said in our vows we kept out the till death do us part part. Oh, really? Because we were like, well, we love each other a lot, why should that matter? And also, let's be honest, I thought I'd go first. Okay, so in the vows, was there any kind of specific instructions for this scenario? Hang on. Keep uh, going. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> or were there any, if, if, if you established oh, in the vows, it's not till death do us part. Did you have any no, sort of contingency plans? there were a lot plans? of pretty specific instructions in the vows. Okay, so what, where you're going to the graveyard now. and So he says in the vow, but if I die first and you want to leave me, you have to go to the graveyard, dig up my body. And in the vows, it included the spell that'll reanimate him. Okay, okay. So we can sign the divorce papers. Wow. Oh, All God. Right. Are you good, by the way? I just woke up. You just woke up. This is my new boyfriend who I want to marry. Oh, my God. Hey, babe. Um, he just woke up. He sleeps in. Yeah. License and reg? Okay, oh. sure. If, if you... I'm taking your, your, your fiancé to the graveyard. So it, it just seems like a formality. Can I be on my way? I take mental pictures of all the license and registrations that I that I take. Uh, okay. It's just kind of a personal collection thing. As long as that's the only picture you're taking, sure. He's being weird about my my Mind Palace collection. He doesn't get it, honey. I don't think he does. The Mind Palace is it's very erotic in a way. Okay, I don't want to hear about that. That's okay. If that's okay, I don't want to hear about that. Well, I've never committed any sins because I'm still married to my husband. So we've we've actually just been, you know, doing Hand things. N no. Okay. Doing things on the psychic plane. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course. Okay. It's all you telekinetic. If I if I so much as touch her, I'm gonna kill myself. Okay. Okay. That's that's a promise he made as a teen to his therapist, and he will not break it. I'm very dedicated. I care. And I, care. I promised my husband, when giving our vows, which were two hours long, of course, that if I want to be with another man, I have to dig him up, reanimate his corpse, and divorce him. Okay, okay. <sighs> that makes sense. Can you be our escort? Would you escort us the rest of the way to the cemetery? Escort? I'd never hire one of no, those. No, no, I don't mean like that. Hey. I mean, he can common, put a siren on. Common misconception. Uh, Sorry, yeah. we're doing something important here. I'll, ask, All right. I'll escort you. All right. The cop's going to escort us the rest of the way. Go ahead. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. you're, you're not in the car yet. Get going. If I start driving, you you have to be in front of us to escort. I'm escorting you. Get going. Thank you very much. <laughs> he's a fast runner. Wow. Yeah. He looks like he's jogging, but he's running so fast. I'm just bounding. Oh my God. We Not met on we met on an app. Which one? Neopets. Wow. Okay. He's really good at puzzles. Okay. We met in the games. There's there's chats now in the games. So do you need to take... He said Roman ASL, and I thought he meant, do you want to speak in American Sign Language? So yeah. I did. Okay, hey, grab onto the car, buddy. You got it. All right, I got you. 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 No! Don't no. 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 You he touched died. him. He died from coming too hard. <laughs> you touched him and he came so hard he let go of me and died. Two dead husbands? I'm Is sorry. that my curse? Maybe this will make you feel better. What, you're gonna try to jerk me off? No, no. <laughs> it's a cat with a hat on. Oh, I already own that. It's not a hat, it's a tongue. Whatever. Tongue Licking a pussy? Are they trying to taunt me? Oh, that does feel like a taunt.
Now what's even the point of digging up my dead husband and reanimating him and doing a divorce ceremony? Might as well reanimate him and have us, you know, redo our vows. I mean, yeah, if you had the ability to bring him back to life, why didn't you just do it when he died and maybe you stay with him? It seemed like there was something else going on, maybe. Well, he was a hundred years old. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that's that cop seemed probably like he was in his 30s. <laughs> yeah, so that's a bit of an improvement. Wait, an improvement? Yeah. I've only dated a man who's 30 and a man who was 100. Uh-huh. Is that... Is if there you, a difference between the two? Usually you want to be dating someone who's closer to 30 than 100, just because, like, their their bones are stronger. What? Yeah. Well, I never got to see the bones of the cop. Well... The boner, if that's what you're referring to. I don't to. mean that, but that's also a factor, which is, if it's a man, the penis will work better if they're closer to... It'll... How old are you? We're not talking about me. Sorry, we're not talking about me. Hell, all right. Hmm, string a girl along. No, I think hmm. I wasn't. I think hmm. I was giving you step-by-step -step instructions on how to divorce your husband to marry the... Oh, you were giving me step-by-step -step instructions really. on divorce? Not really. I was. Why don't you talk about the financial disclosures then? Okay. Seems like you're just trying to lead me on. That's why you showed me that provocative billboard earlier. <laughs> I didn't You put wanted the to put the thought up. in my mind of you licking my pussy. No, ma'am. <laughs> That's what you did! No, ma'am. This is- you're doing some sort of psychic sex on me right now, aren't you? Ma'am, please. I- I am uh, not happy to be compared to- uh, to be told I'm doing that, if I well, can be Well, I honest. think you are, but your psychic fields are not strong enough to penetrate my psychic pussy! Excuse me? My psych- if I wanted to be- do penetrating with my psyche, I could. I don't I know think your psychic of, field is big enough! No, a lot of people say it's not, but it actually is. It actually is if you move in a very certain direction. There's one specific movement you have to make, but then it is. Oh, then it's it not will the size be. of the psychic field, it's the it's, motion of the ocean? No, there's a specific- it's like a trick you hey. do. Alright. Oh. Hey, Sorry, sorry. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, fucking, I'm a cop. <laughs> yeah, I know. So... You just wake up? Yeah. You look yeah. really groggy. I was so groggy. So groggy. I uh... Do you want to go? What? You, you can leave. You're trying to fuck him too no. now? You want to go? <laughs> like, oh, uh, yeah. No. Show me your dick. No, no. Come you on. reminded him. Uh, thank you. <sighs> okay. Bigger than mine. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't absolutely. leave him hanging. I learned that from a guy named Putty. Anyway, you, 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 you learned the high five. I learned, I learned that from the from Putty. Okay. A man named Putty. I I'd that like from to a man meet that man. Hip out, hip out. Bigger than my leg. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Have fun. You take care. All right. Now, but you really hit me though. Okay. Sorry. I saw some. I sensed something between you two. You did. Yeah. I when did. he fondled me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I you couldn't that. see it. His arms moved so fast. Yeah. He slid his fingers right up inside me. <laughs> oh God. That's not what a fondle is, ma'am. That's different. But... And by inside me, I mean straight up the tutor. Okay. Yeah. That's what I. Okay. I'm sorry. It's been a while since my hundred-year-old husband died. I, know. I don't know what the kids are doing these days. Well, it's a little different than that, but. If you think you and the cop are hitting it off and you're- I could meet him on a nap. You could meet him on Neopets or something, yeah. So why don't we keep on go? Why don't we get this thing done with your ex-husband? Why don't we get the divorce through? Just so you can have peace of mind about but it. But the divorce is going to take a little longer. Right, but- You don't just dig someone up and divorce them that day. I'm sorry, I don't know that. What happens next? <laughs> well, if you decide to have a mediator, you have to get a mediator, and you both can bring legal counsel if you want. Okay. You both have to have financial disclosures where you go over your shared finances, and you have to put, you know, your expenses for the last six months or so in there. Uh -huh. Then you have to send those to this each other. Pretty vivid, have, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you bored? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually extremely fascinated. So please oh. feel free to keep going. Well, you can suck my tits, okay. Mister. Okay. Excuse me. Are we at the graveyard yet? No, we're actually not. But it is close. I promise you. <sighs> hey, 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 hey! Pull over. Pull okay. over again. I'm so close. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Alright, I'm gonna keep driving once you're in, if that's cool. Hey, I just smelled my finger and you smell amazing. <laughs> my brown rose smells good? Your brown rose? It's brown down there? The butt. Oh, who? Your fi you don't know your finger. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not Caution. good with someone walking words. by the car just 100. audibly groan. Oh my god, you just hit that woman! Let me get my camera out! Sorry, <laughs> sorry! Oh, uh, here, here, I'll take a little shortcut. I'm never gonna get to this, fun this graveyard. Funeral? Sorry, sorry.
Not mean. funeral, sorry. There's a there's a part in the in the thing in the Fred Flintstone world background here where Fred Flintstone, <laughs> Viva Las Vegas. Viva <laughs> Not Viva Rock Vegas. It's like, it's like, you know how there's this background You're stuff? bringing up Rick Moranis, not trying to get the all hot and bothered. Oh, pl Kyle McLaughlin's in that movie, and Rick Moranis is the guy getting you yes, all hot. Oh, yes, come he on. is. Oh, come because on. of how devoted he was to his wife. Oh, please. Oh, please. She gets cancer, Don't and he quits his acting career to take care of the kids. Oh. That is actually beautiful. I will give you that. What I was trying to explain was at some point here we were going to come up on a on a cemetery and I was going to be able to go we're here and it was going to be it was going to be fun but well we're still driving through the hills I guess so but it feels like oh there we go No wait that's not it those are birds sorry Um there there it is Do you go on Neopets much? Yeah, <laughs> I'm on there all the time. I haven't figured it out. You seen this? That's a that's a cemetery. Oh, <laughs> oh you're right. Yeah, see that's oh. my stuff. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll miss her. You can go. You can go. You she'll, two are, She'll always be part of me. Don't do that. Please don't touch your. Okay. All right. You don't want to. No, I definitely not. Out of this world. Thank you very much. The mask on VHS. Nice. They're selling nice. that. Hell yeah. Cool. Very, awesome. very Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas coded. I think very similar. Who the thinks? They're they're sort of family. Those movies. Uh, well, folks. Jesus. They're already. Wow. Got time for maybe one more rider? Um, I guess so. Damn, this this app flew by. All right, who who's up? <laughs> Let's do it. What's up? <laughs> Step on it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Where am I taking? Gotta you? get the hell anywhere but here. Oh, okay. Is everything okay? No. It's, oh, cop. Hi, officer. Yeah. Do I... <laughs> I was undercover. <laughs> I got in with a, a commune. You know those hippies out on the edge of town? Yep. Yeah, well, I went, under, I went into deep cover. Did you learn anything interesting? Yeah, I learned some stuff. I learned some fucked up stuff, and I need to get the hell out of here. Okay, what happened? Are they are they Manson esque or something? Like, what's their deal? Are they doing that? Manson esque. I'm sorry. Manson. Everything's gotta go back. To, everything's gotta be Manson. Now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to to relate no, to. No, they're trying to get their bees back. Trying to get their what's back? Their bees. They're trying to get their bees back. And they're all fucked up, man. What? Who? The bees or the hippies? The hippies. They're all trying. They're like worried about the bees. They gotta get the bees back. And well, they killed my partner. Oh my god. Yeah. Burned him. They burned your partner alive. Yeah. Because they want bees back. I gotta get rid of this shit. Okay. I don't know why I'm still holding it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck, they are not gonna believe this when I go back and tell the boys on the freaking force. Rocky. Sometimes your deep cover is so deep. It's the wicker man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going. Who are you talking to? Nothing, nothing. Oh, you have to do the penis inspection, right? Oh, thank you for reminding yeah, me. No problem. I should stop the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, go. man. Despite what people are saying, not bad. What do you mean what people are saying? <laughs> what do you mean by what? I've been radioed in a few times. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, sorry about the leg. Chris. Oh, okay. It's smaller than my leg. It's well regarded by critics. Film magazine Cinefest. What are you hey, what the fuck is the what are you doing right now? Horror movies. Sorry, sorry. Are we sure that this is the right version? Because there's also the Nicolas Cage one from two thousand six. <laughs> Which one's this? That's probably the seventies one. <laughs> Oh, this is the seventies one. That is one. the seventies one. There's a billboard. Get me, get me two thousand six. Okay, two thousand six. Uh, so the that's hippies, hippies. Wow, that's crazy. Officer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> it's how you. It's so. Woo! I almost forgot this. I miss this little guy. Mwah. I was, I was, we were separated for months while I was in my deep cover. Oh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. I totally remember. I, I know what that's like. In fact, 
What's going on? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Hey, man, you don't even need any information or context or anything it's like fine. that. It's fine. I know that. You one... just meet me where I'm at, man. No, no, no. It's fine. It's hey, fine. look me in the eyes. Meet me no, no, where no, no, I'm no, at. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. I know that uh, you asked the villagers about Rowan, but but they give you evasive <laughs> answers, right? Yeah. That must be a. They that, didn't want to answer that. That must be tough. That must be tough. Cause where's Rowan, right? Where are you? Hey, where are you taking me, by the way? Oh yeah, where am I taking you? Oh, the billboard. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's a Polaroid picture of a cat, maybe? Yeah, its name is Hate. Oh. Where am I taking you? You said you just want to get away, right? Yeah, far okay. away. Um, but, hey, you don't have anything yet. Any connection to that freaky community I just came from. Definitely not. In fact, if you ask me any details about it, I would completely be unable to tell you a single thing. <laughs> hey, I got a question for you. Sure. You single? You, you know what? Actually, I am. I have a suggestion for you. Why don't you uh, hide away for a while at this diner? Uh, there's these... We can go there. It's pretty cool. It's very overpriced, mostly a tourist trap now. Okay. But we can go sit there and hang out, and maybe someone will be frustrated about some date they've been on recently or something. And what, just show up hoping to go on a date? They'll show up and... Hang on, billboard. I'm proof mommy... Can't resist stockbrokers. Wow. Uh, really gross. Yikes. Really upsetting. Yeah, so someone will like kinda charge in and be like, I've got I've got this I've got a new lady I'm seeing, but here's the crazy thing. She she needs to be watching this TV show while we're having sex. Is she into me or the actor in the TV show? It's like you're, what are you talking about right now? Just like that might happen. About something established like I'm telling you about uh people who want to get their bees back. Uh-huh. <laughs> And I'm telling you about a cool diner you and I could go on a date on, and maybe there's I, there's also a place that makes pretty good. Uh, wait, what did we turn him into? The soup Nazi? Poop Nazi. He was the poop. Oh, that doesn't really work. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. We're the Everything Now Show. We do this show every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So come on back. Today's Saturday, which means come on back Monday. Uh, I won't be here, but everyone else will, and it's going to be a banger of an episode. Um, follow the show. Follow our backup of the Hangout channel as well. Uh, I'm going to be on it next week doing damage control for some things I said on the last episode. Also, follow everything down below here, all the social media stuff. Um, YouTube, where you can watch over 500 episodes of this show. Actually, over 600 episodes over 600? now. I oh, believe so. Shit. That's crazy. And the latest VODs are on the VOD channel, which is a separate YouTube channel. We're working on ways to make this That's make more bad. sense. But if you want to find the VODs for the YouTube videos, go to Everything Now Show VODs, the separate YouTube channel. This is like highlights and stuff and other episodes. It doesn't make sense. Mics can't be off. Shut up. How no. would the mics be off? The white one's on! How about the purple one? Oh, what's on? You my mic me. was on. You didn't tell me the purple one. Guess my shit got heard. Whatever. Can you can you hear this now? Oh, and we still heard it. It's gotta be Isn't it's that gotta interesting. Be Six years of Everything Now show. Amazing stuff, huh? It's just been such a wild ride. Thanks for being a big part of it. Six years in, and, and we bone like we're cheating on each other with each other. A six years plus, and Chris is clit slash Brent. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you so it. much. Uh, do we say to join the Discord? Because yeah. all the images from the billboards and the gas station TV bit from tonight were submitted by you, the viewers. And if you want to submit images for us to use, oh my oh, God, come on anonymous. now. Anonymous, anonymous with the Stop six it. gifted. When the show is over, you love do to that. see it. Thank you so Folks, much for the support. I think back on six years ago tonight, I looked so much better. I was healthier. I was sleeping. <laughs> I had like a <laughs> unbalanced social life. And I look awesome, even more so now than I did even then. <laughs> Folks, keep giving us like money so that we can like buy Chris some vitamins or something to make him feel better. I was like working consistently and there was this thing of like, I guess I'll just keep doing that. Rocky My mom was and I still are alive. Minecraft yeah. on the Hangout I know that stream. much is true. That's yeah. true too. 
Join the Discord. My lungs were normal. And on that note, let's that bring out our wonderful we guests. So much weed. They were. They that were at the time. Folks, this was an insane episode. <laughs> I'm very happy about how it turned yes. out. Please give it up for our guests. <laughs> it's my Ivan and Aaron! Welcome to our sign. Oh, thank you so much for doing the show. You are so freaking funny. Um, thanks for doing it. Do you have anything you'd like to plug? We have your uh, Instagram handles there, but if there's anything else you'd like people to know about, let them know. Mm. Me? Yeah. If, oh. Oh. If you live in if you live in LA, I do improv. Um, Go on my Instagram to learn about that. Also, go on my website, AaronKellySmith.com. And you're on the comments. Oh, and I do draw comics. Thank you at Comics by Aaron. Um, maybe I'll finally update my website. Soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good excuse. Good excuse. Um, oh, no. Yeah, please pass the plug. <laughs> <ball. laughs> Ow! Um, uh, hi, I'm Mai. You can you can catch me on Herald Night at UCB on the team. Yikes! Come by. I yeah. think our next show is May twentieth. Is there anyone cool on that team? Um. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, Anna Garcia, super <laughs> cool. Um. No, we got we're gonna, we're gonna freaking be there on Monday. Let's go. Let's go. I don't, I'm this, I, all I do is this show. Anything? <laughs> uh, I'm on Instagram, hit me up. And Letterbox, dude. Oh, and Letterbox, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm on, yo, oh, I'm wait. on Letterbox. Dude, Drop dude. the Letterbox, we all, all right. gotta share Letterbox after this. While we figure out who to raid, let's talk about our top four people. What's top up four. there? Okay. Guys, there's one hat left. Oh, shit. Actually, get rid, take that off. Why? There's no hats left. There's what? one. I really don't think so, I think we're one short. Oh shit. No Did hats, just, just head. Did, did you take off? two off? Yeah. Okay, then there's one hat left. Okay. What does that mean? Where are we, we talking? This show hat. them, show them. Show, them, show the camera. So, oh. How, how about this? So no hat? <laughs> <laughs> I just watched that for the first time. Also, I'm for gonna, first time? I'm gonna show my top four to show how oh, it's yeah. like, oh, what's up, let's go. Um, yeah. I see that blowout? We I see Nightcrawler. Oh, we need to talk about Kevin Nightcrawler. Oh, yeah. Wow! Yeah, we we got a lot of that tonight. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. So you're telling me I can get a hat? Actually, there's one you're person left me? in the world probably who can not. get this hat. And it's... Someone's probably going to buy it before you, but you can try. No, what's guys? Guys! Sorry, folks. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. But are there, are there shirts? No. no, no. What? Are. There's no more shirts. I was looking at the shirt and I was going, I'm going to buy a shirt. You can't. If you wow. don't own this shirt yet, you'll never own this shirt. It's gone forever. I don't know if that's you're you're never going to make any more merch. There will be more merch, but not that. Not and not merch, this. Not that hat. Did you lose the file? Like no. Yes. <laughs> it's <laughs> gone <laughs> forever. We don't know how to recreate the shirt. We're rating friend of the show, Libtron. Yes, hey, Jake and I are going to be on Libby stream. Libtron. On Tuesday, Jake and I are going to be uh, playing video games with Lib. It's going to be fun. Give them our love. See you on Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific, for I'm an all new episode of Everything the last Show. Hat. If Bye. you didn't buy wow. this hat, it's wow. gone forever. Fuck. 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 Yeah. Sorry. No shirts, yeah. no hats, Dude. one Asian member. Heads are falling off. <laughs> <laughs>